Now, coming to the topic of discussion here. So you're here probably because you saw our advertisements on uh, automotive diagnostics and uh, you're trying to find out like, how is it that you could get some more information about it? So that's what I'm here to talk to you about. And uh, before I move on, I just want to tell you why is it that um, I would probably be uh, the best person to teach you this. So uh, I am the CEO of Rain Lab Technologies and Sirius Motorsports. So we've been in the automotive industry for the last 14 years. We've been working on the motorsport side. We've been working with, I mean, we, we pretty much typically work with all the top motorsports people out there. And uh, we've also worked with OEMs. So OEMs in the sense like we worked with uh, Tata Motors, Cummins, Mercedes-Benz, and uh, quite a lot of other two-wheeler OEMs as well. And uh, I also do work with Bits Pilani as a faculty on the weekend. So every every weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I work with Bits Pilani, where I teach courses on uh, automotive electronics, uh, electric vehicles, uh, driverless systems, and things like that. Right. So that's about me. So what what I would I would um, you know summarize about me is that I am not someone who's here purely from an academic background. Um, I am someone who's from the industry. I work with the industry, and I also teach at the academic institutions, right? So um, the experience I have primarily comes from whatever it is that I've worked with, and it is not textbook knowledge, right? So now, without much ado, let me get into what exactly diagnostics is all about. So you might be hearing about diagnostics, you might be hearing about repair, automotive aftermarket, a lot of people talking a lot of things. But um, the, the very simple fact is this. All over the world, automotive servicing is a very huge industry. So if you take the case of uh, US, right, so this industry is so big that uh, it is it is like considered to be a very big, uh, you know, career if someone can actually become an automotive mechanic. Now, India, it was not the case all this while because most of the cars, most of the bikes were all mechanical devices. So mechanics could kind of like do it. But off late, what is happening is the cars themselves, they become more and more modern. And as cars become modern, it is not the regular garages who can probably service them. Um, people want some people who are qualified enough to service them, right? So the premise, so the reason why I want you to consider thinking of automotive repair as a, as a career choice is basically this. So now if you could just, uh, you know, um, answer me this, this small question, right? So what exactly is, is your educational background? Which branch of uh, engineering are you from? If you're not from engineering, then basically what other degree have you done? So this is just for me to understand uh, the audience better. So just go ahead and just vote on the poll so I understand what is it that you have done, right? So we have people from mechanical engineering, diploma ITI as well. So now um, maybe like uh, this would start making sense for you, right? So why is it that uh, you know multi-branch service centers are finding things difficult these days, right? So you might think, okay, uh, if modern day cars comes in. Is it not true that only huge multi-brand centers can basically survive? Uh, it is, it is, it is to an extent true, but uh, these multi-brand uh, service centers are also kind of like feeling the heat. They're kind of finding it difficult, primarily because of the amount of money they have to invest in real estate, right? So I'm not sure where you guys are from, but if you are from a city like say Chennai or something where the real estate costs are really, really high, right? So the amount of money you need to put in to kind of set up this garage, set up the uh, workshop infrastructure, um, it is really, really big, right? So what happens is that these multi-brand service centers, they have to charge quite a lot of money to the customers ultimately, and only then they end up breaking even, right? And not to mention that when you set up a multi-brand service center, say Mahindra first choice or something, Mahindra guys are going to tell you, you invest in this, you invest in that, which means uh, it is not exactly going to be like uh, a very efficient use of the money as well. So as a result, quite a lot of multi-brand service centers, if you look at them, they're finding it difficult to basically survive in the market, right? So uh, it's not just that uh, the real estate cost has gone up and things like that, but what has also happened is that these multi-brand service centers, they are not able to get really good technicians. Right. I'm not I'm deliberately not using the word mechanics here. Right. I'm using the word technicians. 
So now what we get in the market, what is available, the workforce available in the market is typically what we call as a mechanic, right? So maybe you guys can basically answer me this. So what do you think is the typical qualification of a mechanic, right? Um, Prem Chandu, like I'll just uh, get back to the question in a while, right? Let me just go through this and I'll get back to you in the question, just where the questions are concerned, right? So what happens is a mechanic is basically someone with just the mechanical side of knowledge. But uh, if you really look into a car, there are at least 30, 40 different electronic units which are there in it. You take the Volkswagen Skoda cars, automatics make up quite a lot of numbers and automatic cars, the DSGs, they have mechatronic units, which is one of the frequently like uh, failing components on these cars. Now, you look at how many mechanics can basically repair those or how many mechanics can afford to purchase a scan tool for maybe like one lakh rupees or something and then get trained on it, right? You would, you would, you would basically like uh, understand that modern day cars need a mechanic or rather need a technician who knows not just the mechanical side of things, but he has to know the electronics and some computer science of things as well. Now, because they are wanting to have so much of like knowledge with the mechanics is why if you typically take it, a mechanic who's got this kind of a mechatronic experience will start at about three to four lakh rupees per annum salary in an automotive service center. Now, automotive service centers, they don't pay much, but they still like kind of get that much money. Now, if you are someone who says, okay, no, I'm from a, a pretty small town. I don't want to go into a full-time job. I want to go to multiple places and work. You're, you're, you're almost, your earnings almost double. And if you think like you want to be a mobile service technician, you want to get into business yourself, then typically you will be making the same amount of money that a guy in the IT would earn after maybe five to six years of experience, right? 15 to 16 lakhs is basically what you can make as a mobile service technician as well. Now, this is the opportunity for you. So now this is something which should kind of like help you make a choice as to uh, whether or not you want to get into diagnostics and things like that, right? So that's the opportunity here for you. And of course, what we do uh, teach you basically is like something like uh, something which, which is like this. So there are going to be multiple different tools which is needed for basically tackling this particular problem. So we would take you through all of these tools, whatever is needed in the market. And not just that, what we do is we kind of give you some virtual experience as well, right? So what we do is we help you to first start learn about the fundamentals. Then we start like kind of like arranging for uh, uh, actual hands-on diagnostic sessions, like not just on Indian cars, we get premium cars. You work on you work on brands like Audi, Mercedes and Jaguar and all those things. We kind of like help you kind of start off in those things. We help you get hands on with all the tools which is there in the market. So before you go and purchase a tool for yourself, you want to maybe compare working with the launch and a VCDS. We can help you with that. Right. So we do that. We help you with the tools. We help you with the knowledge. We help you with sourcing spare parts. Suppose you finish this, you want to go back to your native place. You want to do your business there. We help you with sourcing the uh, spare parts, both OEMs as well as used ones. You want to kind of get a control module coded. Pretty much the end to end things we would be able to support you with that thing. Now that is also being offered as a part of the training. So it is not something which is which is which has got some ifs and buts to it. It is basically something like you do the course, you're basically like, uh, you know, uh, getting to be a part of this as well. Now, <clears throat> what exactly is this uh, going to be like? What is the course that you're basically going to do? So now there is an option for you to do either the diagnostics course alone, or you can do the master technician course, which is a 60 day course. So the difference between pure diagnostics and master technician is in diagnostics, you will only learn about automotive mechanical fundamentals and things like that, diagnostics. Whereas with the master technician, you will learn about ECUs, you will learn about ECU tuning, you will learn about remaps, you will learn about uh, wiring up an ECU and all of those things as well, in addition to whatever you learn in the automotive diagnostics. So diagnostics is 30 days, automotive uh, master technician is 60 days. Now, irrespective of whichever course you do take, if you want some placement assistance, then we basically work with a lot of workshops across India. So no matter which place of the, uh, which, which part of the country you are from, 
we will be able to arrange for some internships and subsequently placement opportunities at that particular place of your choice. Alternately, right? Alternately, if you are someone who is interested in getting into your own business, then basically we have this uh, franchisee option, uh, which will help you like set up your own franchisee as well. Now, coming to uh, the most important question, which a lot of you might have, um, how much exactly is this course? I mean, what, what exactly do we offer? So the course price is 50,000 rupees for the 60 days offline program. So that is uh, you do automotive master technician, which includes diagnostics and it also includes your ECU tuning, remap, ECU repair, ECU wiring and all of those modules. Obviously, if you want to take only the diagnostics, then the price would be 25,000 rupees, but that is a 30 day program. So now you can choose whichever course that you want. Now, typically, if you want to uh, kind of also work with these use, you will go for the master technician program. If you want to just work on the diagnostics part alone, you would go for the regular one. Now, for those of you who are wanting to like uh, probably look at uh, the franchisee model, suppose you want to kind of like get into your own business, then basically we offer franchisee for what we call as the Rainworks platform. So the Rainworks platform is a mobile vehicle servicing business. So now you might ask, why is it that we'll have to go for a mobile servicing? Can't I just put a workshop and start? The answer is again something which I spoke about earlier. For the amount of money you will spend setting up just the uh, the place, right? The advance you give on the place, the painting expenses you do, maybe furnitures what you put in, you would basically be able to set up a complete mobile vehicle servicing business for the same money, right? So Rainworks, Rain Lab will completely help you like build it. We will basically like, uh, you know, build the entire thing and hand it over to you as a turnkey arrangement. Not only that, as a part of the Rainworks franchisee, you would continue working with us probably for three months after the course is over. So you learn more about the business. You learn more about uh, talking to customers and things like that. So basically what you do is once the training is done, you have the vehicle. You go back to your, your, your place, wherever it is that you bought the franchisee for. Rain Lab will take care of marketing and customer acquisition for you. So we will get customers for you. We will do the marketing for you. All you'll have to do is once we get a customer for you, you just have to go down to the customer's place and basically do the servicing for them. That's it. Basically, that's all that you do. And we work on an 80-20 profit share. So you take 80% of the profits and Rain Lab takes 20% of the profits. So why do we still take profits from you is basically because we provide the spare parts for you at a heavily discounted price. So we would be investing quite a lot of money on the spare parts. And we also like take the money to kind of continue supporting you with the marketing and sales activities. So to put that into perspective, typically any business, we spend close to 35, 40% of the uh, revenues on marketing and uh, uh, sales aspects of it but since now we are going to be like using a centralized sales and marketing activity uh, what we kind of like ask in return is a 80 20 market share which i think is one of the lowest franchisee market share i mean uh, profit shares in the industry right so this is basically like what you guys are going to do so now we have two options three options in fact so you do the course once you complete the course you can ask us for help and we can help you get placed some way that's one or we can help you get into business on your own. That's second thing. Third thing is, if you think that uh, you want to be a part of Rainworks, you want to uh, you want to kind of like use our brand and you want to kind of like uh, spread the word around. It becomes easy for you to acquire customers. So if you want to do that, then the franchising is the third option for you. So now, whichever one it is, um, it would be it would be great if you guys could just like uh, let us know what is it that uh, you have in your mind then probably like uh, we would be able to, uh, you know, make uh, make things in a much more packaged and much more better way for you. So now um, you've seen the pitch, you've seen what is it that we have to offer. So if you guys are interested in, in, in basically pursuing this course, if you want more information, you could just uh, click on the yes option. You have the poll there. So uh, even if you want to just get more information, please do go click on the yes. Um, we would have Raj get back to you. And uh, we'll basically like try to figure out what your requirements are and how is it that we could fulfill those things, right? So now if you have any questions, you could post it in the questions tab. Uh, I, would, I would basically be taking the questions after this.